Bonjour mesdames et messieurs. Welcome to my Lightroom Photoshop and Photography Tips episode number 12. This is the second part of last week's episode. Last week what we did is we started to create a poster, a Hollywood movie poster. And the trick was to do a first a full cleanup of the skin, which is something you can use actually to do on any portrait retouching. So I invite you to check back last week because if you have not seen last week's episode, you won't be able to follow along because I'm just going to keep on going from where I stopped. But anyways, just to show you, this is the skin before the retouching and this is the skin after the retouching. So you have an idea of what was done last week. Now this week we're going to finish the poster and we are going to give that Hollywood look that I love so much and I hope that you love too. So here's the final result. See how it is like a little you know, paint drawing type of look. Let's not wait and let's get started and let me show you how we do this. All right, so picking up from last week, as I told you, I did exactly the same thing with this character that I did on the first one, meaning I did this whole three-step cleaning up of the skin and I just dropped him off on this background of sky. Now, so here you have Arthur, which is our first character, and there you have Steven, which are a second character. Right now, I can still move them, move them around. I can take the move tool, you know, for example, and move Arthur anywhere I want. Command Z to undo. Same thing with Steven. I can move him around. Command Z to undo. Voila, I've positioned them the way I want. Now, uh, before we do this Hollywood look, there's a couple of things I need to fix first. Uh, for example, the sky here, that looks weird. You know, they look like they're coming out of the clouds. So for this, we're going to create a, a mask, an empty mask, which is white at first. Then we're going to take the gradient tool. And on the gradient tool, make sure you take from uh, black to transparent. It's up here. Uh, from black to transparent, click on OK. And then I'm going to click the shift key and just drag a gradient from the bottom up. The whole idea is I want to darken the bottom of the, of the photo and uh, so that we don't see them floating in the air. Okay, uh, one little trick about doing gradients, you know, the fact that I'm going from black to transparent is I can just go over and over and try again and it's gonna build up the gradient. Okay, that's not bad, but I would like the gradient to go a bit higher up. So a trick that I do often to uh, sort of uh, change that is I select my um, mask here and I press Command L or Control L on Windows and this gives me the levels, the level adjustment window. If I go right, look, if I go right, how the gradient goes up. And if I go left, see how the gradient goes down. So I can just fine tune what I want with the gradient. You know, I want something like that. You know, I want this to go down because we're going to put some titles here and I'm going to add a photo. So, so that is okay. That's what I wanted before. I, uh, continue with, uh, you know, before doing the Hollywood look, I want to include a little photo here. So I'm going to go over in Bridge and take this photo, which is an HDR photo of a scene close to Paris. I'm going to open up with uh, Photoshop CS6. Okay, here it is. It's an HDR photo. Uh, you can see my uh, courses on HDR if you want to know how to do HDR. I, I love HDR and I think they work very well with posters. So then I'm just going to take my move tool and take this photo and just drag it over my poster here. Okay, the target document has a different depth than the source document. That's okay. You say yes. All right. I'm just going to put this uh, actually maybe here. Okay. Um, no, I'm going to put him over Stephen. I'm going to put it over Stephen and below author between the two. Then I'm going to press command T and that's going to bring the uh, the selection tool, the transform tool, sorry, press shift and option. And I'm just going to drag and make this very small. I want this to be uh, around here somewhere. Yeah, somewhere like this. Yeah, something like that. Okay, I press enter. I zoom in. So now we have uh, this photo, which is in this in a sort of blue style that we have. But you know, it looks kind of like you know, just if it was dropped here. So we need to do some feathering first. For this, same technique, I create a mask. I take the gradient tool and I'm just going to click and do a little gradient here. See how it's, it's already making this half transparent. I'm going to do the same thing here. 
Actually, not. Maybe not. Oops, sorry. Command Z. I'm going to do it here at the bottom. Yeah, something like that. Now, you can still see the border of the photo here and here. So for this, you click on the, uh, on the, on the mask. You take a brush tool. Make your brush around, yeah, 20%. Make it black by pressing X, and with a let's make the brush a bit smaller, and you know with a 26 black brush, I just I'm on the mask here, and I'm gonna click on this until I don't see the borders anymore. So I'm just going you know uh, stroke by stroke, you know little bit by little bit, okay maybe here a little bit just to make it bland a bit better, make it make this a little bit bigger. You just make it blend, something like that. Okay, now it's blending. Uh, it's blending with the photo. Uh, maybe here I have the jacket of Steven. So I want to maybe get the jacket to come back a bit more. So I press X to go on white. And, oops, sorry. No, I, I keep on black. Maybe I'm going to make my opacity a bit bigger. And, yeah, and just make sure that the jacket is there could be fun to have the jacket sort of over the building here something like that okay now i have positioned this um i'm gonna make this whole uh, photo uh, i'm gonna put a little more color cast to it because right now they're they are a bit warm the sky is a bit blue and this is very blue so i'm gonna create i'm gonna go on the top of all my layers and create um, a selective color adjustment layer and the selective color adjustment layer is great to make color cast. You know, color cast is basically you give an overall color to all your elements. Uh, and for this, you have to choose the neutrals, the, the gray color here. You can choose any color, you choose the neutrals. And then you can add cyan, take off cyan, you know, do whatever you want. And it's going to act on all the layers. So I'm going to add a bit of cyan, um, maybe a bit of yellow to make it a bit more green. And if you add some black, it's going to make it a bit more poppy. No, I don't think I'm going to go for the yellow. I'm going to go, go the other way. I want to make this really blue. Okay. Yeah. See how the whole thing becomes a bit more blue? Kind of like that. Now, um, I think this is too much square. So I'm going to go back on the mask, take back my brush. Just looking at it, I find it's a bit too much square. Uh, take a brush of about 30%. Still in black. And I just want to erase a bit more some of that photo. I want this to blend even more in the sky. And maybe here. Not so, you know, so it's not so um, square at the bottom. I don't like that. Yeah, something like this. Okay. Yeah, it's just a little element, you know, that you add to add some uh, Hollywood portrait type of thing. Okay, so now we have all our elements into place. But we haven't done the Hollywood look yet. The look that you can apply to any portrait, but for this look to work, you need to have cleaned up your skin like I did because otherwise it's going to make a mess. So you have a clean skin, you know, you took a nice soap and you got a very nice skin, you know, with this three step I showed you last week. So now I'm going to go here at the top of everything. And this is an important point in your design because now I'm going to merge all the layers, meaning that I won't be able to move my character or move this photo. You know, it's like it's the final countdown. So for this, I'm going to press Command Alt Shift E, which is going to create a layer, um, basically taking all we have done so far. It's one big combined layer. Now, the reason I don't flatten my layers is that in case something goes wrong from now on, I can always erase that layer and just go back and still move my characters. Uh, or change my sky of color, whatever, you know, I can do anything that I want. Okay, so now that I'm on that layer, I'm going to use this plugin from Topaz. So the way it works, uh, let me show you first the plugin. The plugin that I use is Topal Details. It's, it costs 39 bucks, and I think you can even buy it with some other plugin. It costs cheaper. You can have, you have a free trial, so you can download it and try it for free and see if it works for you. But I love that plugin because that's really what gives this look. But you have to have, you know, clean skin first. That's very important. So now that I have this, I'm going to go into filters, uh, Topaz, uh, the Topaz Detail 2. That's the one I'm using. 
the plugin is going to open and I'm not going to go into a big explanation of the plugin, but the whole idea of that plugin is that you can boost details based on the fact if they are small, uh, medium or big. And uh, here on the left, you have some presets. Now, here it says small detail, small boost, medium detail, medium boost, large detail, large boost. There's one option that I, uh, that I love, which is a preset called Calvin here. It's um, a preset that I got from a great, a great photographer and a great Photoshop retoucher called Calvin Hollywood, a German lad, which is very nice. And see how his preset works. Basically, it works reverse. Small detail is very big at 0 0.32. Then small boost is at 0 0.24. It's a bit, you know, the, the, the value is a bit smaller than small details. And then medium details is a bit smaller, 0 0.16. And medium boost is even smaller, 0 0.09. And large detail is even smaller, 0 0.04. And large boost is almost nothing, 0 0.01. So, and it's going to give this sort of like, um, yeah, this sort of look here. Um, so I apply it to the overall photo. I think it's too much here. What it does here on the HDR, it's too much, but we're going to correct that. So I click on OK. And now I have this sort of, uh, you know, very drawy look everywhere. Now, at first, it's always a bit too strong. So I always, uh, instead of backing down the opacity, I create a mask and I take a brush um, in black again, around 20, let's say, let's like making 20%. And I think it's a bit too strong on his face. So I'm just going to take it out here a little bit, maybe here a little bit on his face. I'm s certainly here. I'm going to take it out more. So I'm going to go to uh, a brush of about 40% in strength and I'm just going to turn it down here. I think it's too strong on this part of the image. And then I'm going to put the opacity back to about 20. Oops, sorry. And, uh, and I'm going to make it just a bit less here on the sky. You know, just take it out a little bit. It's still going to be there, but it's a bit out. So I take it out by gradient. See how my mask is? Let me show you the mask. You see, I, I had done some grays, you know, every, every time you see it's gray, it's on, it's going out on the gradient. To see your mask, you just press the option key or the alt key and press on the mask. Oops, sorry. And you can see it. And if, if you press back, you, you go out. Okay. So let me zoom in and see what it looks like now. See, before the details, after the detail, major change. But imagine that we would have not taken care of all the spots, they would really come out like big. That's why it was important to do all this cleanup first. If you find that it's too strong, you can always lo lower the opacity, but the whole idea is to really go for this look, you know? Okay, now, to finish off with this look, I'm gonna add a couple of things. Um, I'm gonna add, uh, a title. So I've already prepared a title, which is here, because this was for a short, short film called USB, uh, a sort of action movie about somebody who stole a USB key. So I just added this USB with a texture in it, and I added the name of the two uh, of the two actors, and that's it. So I'm not going to show you how I did that. This would probably be a, a, in another tutorial. It's, this is not about doing titles. It's about giving this Hollywood look. So now we start having this look. Um, now, once I've added the title, there is a couple of things that I do. Now, one step that takes a bit of time, if you want to do it right, is to do some dodge and burning. So you create an empty layer and you put it into overlay mode. You've seen me doing this in other tutorials. I, I call this dodge and burn. Then you take a brush, uh, still about 20%. 20% is a value I use all the time. Make this brush very small and put it Press X to be on white and okay, and then I'm going to zoom in, take my brush and I'm just going to draw paint over my photo. And the fact that this is in overlay mode, what this is going to do, it's going to basically melt now 20% is too strong for some parts. So let's put it nine. I'm just going to add. Now, this is a step that can take some real t so a lot of time. Uh, so I'm just going to do it quickly here. The whole idea is that you, you, you paint over your photo to make your contrast even more and give it a bit more this sort of uh, painty look. So what usually I do is I just paint over you know, with a small brush over anything which is already bright in the photo, like, you know, this uh, on, on this jacket here, this little part. 
maybe here you know make this a bit brighter this a bit brighter you know the here okay let's go back to 20 on this one makes this a bit brighter now at first you might think that it doesn't do much but when I'll show you the before and after uh, it can make a difference now I'm not going to spend much time on it but I invite you at home to spend a bit more time on it because it really gives a look which is interesting you know it makes it adds more drama to the sort of painting of the of the photo okay show you before and after it didn't do much on this one a bit it's a bit too strong here on his face I'm just gonna lower the opacity but that's just a way you can add also some more uh, drama to it and uh, yeah more painting look okay now one more step before um, to give this look is to add a texture so I'm gonna go back into bridge take this red texture opening up in uh, Photoshop okay I'm gonna drag it over to my poster make sure it's on the top now you see how the texture is very small compared to the photo I got this texture on cgtexture.com I think it was cgtexture.com uh, it's you know you get this grungy just type grungy texture on Google you will get tons of them okay I'm gonna press command T and uh, make this about the size of my poster and press enter now I'm gonna put this in overlay mode now you see there's a, there's a lot of color I don't like what it does with the color so I'm gonna press I'm gonna desaturate the texture I'm gonna press command shift U command shift U that, that's gonna desaturate the texture it's gonna take all the colors out but I keep it in overlay mode now check this out with the texture without the texture see how it makes this sort of like poster look even more it's a bit strong overall so I'm gonna lower the opacity a bit overall and I'm gonna add a mask take my brush and make sure there's nothing on the faces because I don't want this texture to be so much on the face but on the rest I think it's interesting so on the face I'm just gonna take it out I still have a black brush maybe here I'm just making sure there's nothing on the face and um, yeah on the skin you know uh, maybe here no it's okay no I'll take it out here maybe a little bit yeah not on this part it's not really needed but you see it, it adds a sort of a paper feel to it you know uh, so maybe a bit strong so I'm gonna lower the opacity yeah something like that but I like what it does it gives a paper look to uh, to your poster and uh, last but not least uh, add an empty layer Put this in overlay mode fill this empty layer with 50% uh, gray so edit fill 50% gray so now you have an empty layer with gray which is in overlay mode and now we're going to add some noise to the photo to make it more even more look like paper so filter noise add noise and uh, not that much i usually go strong i go around like you know to really give this paper look I go around 14% or so something like this okay check it out before the noise after the noise it makes everything blend together and it gives even more this sort of poster look that you see in the streets okay and basically that's it you can apply this technique to any portraits and you really really get this sort of Hollywood you know a poster a drawing type of look and I really uh, it's a look that I really love so I hope you enjoyed this two-part tutorial before we finish off, as usual, I want to show you my website called photosearch.com. If you go on the App Store option, you've got all my courses. Uh, I've got a lot of training on Lightroom, Photoshop CS6, doing compositing or just regular training on how to use Photoshop and Quick Start. They are very good courses. They are very cheap. I really invite you to purchase them. It helps me doing this podcast. And... Um, if you're following this on YouTube, don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you can get weekly this free podcast. Okay, so let's get back to the studio and thank you for following this course, guys. All right, guys, so I hope you like that tutorial and that uh, you learned something. This is something I've been searching for a while, so I was happy to share with you guys. So before we finish, I want to make a little announcement. As you know, or you may not know, Scott Kelby from KelbyTraining.com, very famous photographer, retouching uh, artist and an overall great guy is organizing a worldwide photo walk it's on the 13th of October 
And the thing that's incredible this year is that Scott is going to lead the first walk in Paris, in my town, with me uh, on Saturday morning at 10 a.m. in the Montmartre. Now, that photo walk is full. However, at 3 p.m., from 3 p.m. to 5 p.m., I will be leading a photo walk in Paris around the Seine area. And, you know, uh, we're going to go to Notre Dame and all the historical part of Paris. That's, why, that's the official t-shirt of the walk. And there is still 36 places free. It's a complete free event. You can come and I will be leading you guys into a photo walk. We're going to take incredible photos of Paris. I can answer any questions you have on Photoshop or Lightroom. You just have to be in Paris on the 13th of October. So here is the link to the website where you can subscribe. And uh, I still have 36 free, so I invite you to come with me in Paris. And maybe, because Scott is in Paris, he's going to come around 5 o'clock and have a coffee with us. So... Thank you for following this podcast and I'll see you next week.